Synthetic division is a very nice way to divide polynomials. First, because it gets rid of all the variables. Secondly, because it makes it into an adding problem. And third, because it goes quite a bit faster. The first step for synthetic division is to take what we're dividing by, and it has to start with an x. Uh, we're going to take this number and use the opposite. So instead of negative 2, we're going to pay, place a positive 2 in a box. Next, I'm going to write down all the coefficients. So when there's no coefficient, I know there's a 1, 5 on the x squared, negative 2, and negative 24. I'm going to skip a row, and then I'm going to draw a line. I'm going to bring the 1 straight down. We always just bring the first one down. And now from now on, what I'm going to do is say the number in the box times the number below the line. So 2 times 1 is 2, and that's going to go under the 5. Now I'm going to add these together. 5 plus 2 is 7. Again, I'm going to multiply the number in the box to the number under the line. 2 times 7 is 14, and that'll go under the minus 2. I'm going to add these together and get 12. Again, the number in the box times this, so 2 times 12 is 24. Add that together and I get 0. Now, this first one up here meant x to the third power. Our answer is going to be 1 degree less, so this will be x squared. Likewise, this was an x squared, so 1 degree less would be the x. And this was an x, so 1 degree less would be our constant 12. I'm going to separate these with plus signs. So I have three terms. And the zero over here would be our remainder, but we do not have a remainder. So to write it again, our answer is x squared plus 7x plus 12.